Hey shorties, welcome back to my channel. This is Aaron here and today I thought of doing something different. Instead of just doing an unboxing, I thought it'd be a quick idea to really share my view on the difference between getting a elevator shoe compared to getting an insole or a high increase insole. To start off this video, let's talk about the shoe. As usual, I got my shoe from Guido Maji and today I actually got the Elevator Loafer. This Elevator Loafer is made in Italy just like all Guido Maggi shoe. The upper is made from a soft black suede and is stitched leather sole with an anti-slip rubber. It's a classic loafer with a really classic design and the best thing about this loafer is that it adds height. And this shoe adds up to 2.6 inches, which is around 6.5 centimeters. And the best part is it's doing so without really sharing that you're wearing an elevator shoe. If you are thinking about getting an elevator shoe or an insole, today I share my view on the difference between comparing with these two. I personally see two benefits to high insoles. One being that it's more affordable, and the second is being able to transfer it to different shoes. Having said that, that is all the pros that I can give to these height insoles. Something that you need to know is that these insoles is not appropriate for all type of shoes. Lower cut shoes typically don't work with these insoles and the main reason is because the back is too short to accommodate your heel. Even if it does, it holds your feet too tight which brings a lot of discomfort when you are wearing it. Insoles are great if you wear a high cut shoe like this Converse or it can do well in boots as well. Otherwise it doesn't fit well with low cut shoes as I mentioned. I'm using this as an exaggerated example. As you can see the cut is not always there inside and it's not suitable with a low cut of shoe where it just pushes your feet to up and to front again which brings a lot of discomfort. With an elevator shoe, you get something that is built in. That means you also get the additional height because of the shoe, where you're able to customize your height or pick a design that goes up to 3 inches tall without sacrificing height and without sacrificing comfort. As mentioned earlier, this loafers goes from around 2.6 inches, which is about 6.5 centimeters tall. Usually, height insoles would go around 1.6 inches to around 2 inches max. With an elevated shoe, it starts around 2.6 inches to around 3.1 um, inches. And I've seen or worn some that are also around 5 inches tall. Overall, my preference has to be elevated shoes. It's built together as one. And it doesn't feel like a Frankenstein shoe where you're combining two different shoes that aren't just made to be together. Comfort's also better with an elevated shoe because of this. And it's something that you'll be able to wear the entire day. I've personally worn elevated shoes and I've traveled with them where I've worn them and walked the entire day without any issues. With an elevated shoe, you're also not just limited to high cuts or boots. You'll be able to get a range of designs from this type of loafers. Let me show you how these elevator loafers look when it's worn. As you can see, the height doesn't show and it doesn't scream that you're wearing an elevator shoe. This is why I love all shoes, especially shoes from Guido Maggi, because the design is always perfect. The quality is there and it doesn't scream that you're wearing an elevator shoe which is for me the most important part about getting an elevator shoe. Remember guys, life is short, you don't have to be.